Based on a question I received recently, I wanted to post a short clip on converting a line feature class, a polyline feature class, to a polygon feature class. Occasionally this is needed to be done in the event that you had a polyline or line feature and you wanted to turn that into a polygon for the purpose of clipping out a another uh, feature data set of some sort or a raster data set. As you can see on the screen, this is the the polyline that was sent to me by the person that had the question and she was interested in knowing why her line to polygon conversion in ArcGIS wasn't working. So just quickly you can see here the outline of this this uh, area. Note that it is projected down here it looks like in a UTM coordinate system and we're simply going to come over here to our search tab and we're going to do feature to polygon and it's right there at the top of the list. Now this tool is fairly straightforward and simple to use but there is one small caveat and trick to getting it to function properly. So let's go ahead and we'll put our input feature in. Here's our polyline example. It's going to load there in the list. Note that it automatically places the output feature class. I'm going to go ahead and not put that back into this uh, default geodatabase, rather put it into um, this uh, this folder here and we'll give it a, a name alright now one unique thing about this tool and the slight caveat that you need to realize is that we need to go ahead and set an XY tolerance Esri has noted here that it's optional but if you look at the description the minimum distance separating all feature coordinates and distance coordinate can move in XY or both directions during spatial uh, computation meaning that from time to time and more often than not a polyline will have some sort of a gap in it. We need to be able to join that gap in order to create a, a complete polygon. So this is a fairly spatially large data set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just add a uh, one meter tolerance there and I don't mind uh, really if I preserve my attributes you may need to preserve your attributes and certainly you can do that um, once that's done, it's very simple to go ahead and click OK. Uh, it runs in almost no time. And you can see here now we have this polygon uh, feature class. Uh, you can turn off our polyline and uh, just see our polygon there. Now just as a, as a quick example, we'll show you back here at the, the polyline. If we start editing on that polyline, we select our our area of interest here. And let's just take a quick look at all the vertices that we have here. So if you take a look at these vertices and because this data set is so large and there are so many vertices it would it would be a waste of time to ever go through all of those vertices and try to find out which one didn't actually join up. But in this case right here you can see where this little red vertice is marked. Actually that's a node of the end of the line we can see that those two are not together in the original uh, polyline example. And if we take our measuring tool, we can take a quick measurement and see that the measurement is merely a, a half a meter, slightly less. Um, but uh, if we look out here at the, the full size of this thing, we're looking at uh, you know 44,300 meters, so a very large data set, 47 uh, 50 kilometers across. So you'd never really be able to find that one single node unless you're looking for it um, that happens to not be matching up. So setting that tolerance is indeed important uh, to get the, the feature class to, to polygon to work.